Hey guys, welcome to Drum History News. Uh, today we're talking about Noble & Cooley, which is the oldest drum manufacturer in America uh, who made toy drums for a long time, then made drums in the Civil War, then back to toy drums, which is what we're talking about here, that kind of uh, era of like Sears catalog uh, drum sets, basically. And then later they became one of the, you know, nicest drum makers of like professional drum sets um, in the world, really. Um, so Noble and Cooley was founded in 1854. Um, I kind of was like, wait a minute, what about Rogers? Because Rogers is 1849. But Rogers, uh, I believe, was just making drum heads at first. There is a drum history podcast episode about Noble and Cooley, which I'll put in the description. Um, Jay and Nick Jones from Noble and Cooley are, you know, in the family that goes back to the beginning. And uh, it's a really cool episode that um, answers a lot of questions. And before we start, I just want to show you guys, I actually have a toy drum um, from Noble and Cooley that I bought for my son uh, a couple years ago when we did the podcast episode. I said, oh, cool. I didn't know you could buy these still. And uh, and I did. And it was a cool gift. It was like 20 bucks. Um, but anyway, if you're interested, you can you can check them out. There's this one, which was like 20 and then like a, ch a cheaper version, uh, which I bought someone else's kid for a gift. Uh, if you want to check those out, it's not on their website. It's it's actually nccHP.org in the gift shop. So it took a little bit to find it, but um, well worth it. Uh, just to give them a quick plug. All right, so our first ad is from the LA Times in 1966. This is the height of Beatlemania. People are just buying everything Ringo related. Um, so this is pretty obvious here. On the left, it says 20 inch complete trap drum set by Noble and Cooley, $4.99. For the young devotees of the beat, set includes 20 inch trap drum, colorfully decorated in a teen mood. Also has eight inch and six and a half inch side drums, foot pedal, cymbal, and a pair of drumsticks. I did the little inflation uh, calculator thing for this, and it says that would have been about forty-five dollars and sixty-three cents, going from nineteen sixty-six money to uh, two thousand twenty-two. So you know, a fifty-dollar drum set seems about right for what you'd pay today. Now the drum set on the right is not a Noble and Cooley, but it's uh, pretty cool to read this one as well. It says Remco Liverpool professional type trap drum set, $29.99. Drum combo by Remco has a bass drum, snare drum, tom tom, cymbal, adjustable tension lugs, snare drum, stand, foot pedal, cowbell block, two drumsticks, two brushes, snare control throw off. Obviously, that's a much more legitimate like first drum set for someone who really wants to uh, get into playing the drum set. And that $29.99 would be like $275 today uh, using that same calculator thing. Um, so really, it kind of works out like this where, yeah, that's about what you'd pay for a beginner drum set exactly like that today. Our next two ads are from Newsday newspaper in Hampstead, New York from 1978. Um, these two Noble and Cooley ads were in the same paper, just in different sections, I guess. The first one says, Superstar Trap Drum by Noble, $10.99. Bass drum, 6-inch and 7-inch tom-tom, tone block and cymbal, stylishly 8.5-inch drumsticks and full-size pedal. It's weird the word stylishly is just thrown in the middle there. Then below that, it says, Trap Drum Set by Noble, $24.99. 10-inch snare drum, 8-inch tom-tom, 12-inch cymbal, 12-inch drumsticks, and a rugged pedal. And then on the right has a cool little Noble and Cooley um, sign. This is similar to the previous ad for Remco and Noble and Cooley where it's like, you know, a cheaper version and then the little bit more legit one that someone could actually kind of start to play on and get better. Our next one, same paper, same day, is a uh, Disney-themed one. It says Disney Rocket Trap Drum Set by Noble and Cooley. $13.99, a 20-inch bass drum, 8-inch snare drum, 6.5-inch side drum, two cymbals, tone block, drumsticks, and a metal foot pedal to complete the set. Pretty cool. That's that's a neat licensing deal that like Disney would come to Noble and Cooley to just manufacture this and put the logo on it. Big business. I mean, this was their business. I believe uh, Jay Jones from Noble and Cooley told me that this was really their bread and butter until 9-11 happened. And then I think something with shipping and all that stuff, and it just made it basically impossible for them. Um, so that was the end of their run at these um, drum sets, which lasted a very long time. The next ad is from the Evening Sun in Hanover, Pennsylvania in 1983. This is just a cool little small one. It says, Shirt Tails or Muppets, Trap Drum Sets by Noble Cooley. Up on the left there with a picture of the shirt, and then it says, Shirt Tails, 
trap drum set, which is obviously a show from that time. Um, and then it says Muppets trap drum set, fifteen ninety nine. your choice. It looks like it's Animal on there, and I'm going to guess Kermit because of his uh, eyes. It's kind of hard to see with the black and white, but it's neat to see, you know, again, Noble and Cooley's working with some of the biggest cartoons and uh, licensing deals at the time. And lastly, from 1985, we have one from the Charlotte Observer in Charlotte, North Carolina. This looks more like a rock drum set ad. Like you would see this kind of an ad in like a drum magazine or something, but obviously this is for kids in a newspaper. It says Noble and Cooley diamond rock trap drum set, handsome black diamond pearl design, ages five and up. Pretty cool. If you were lucky enough to have a Noble and Cooley drum set as a kid, you should comment below and tell me. And like I said, even if it wasn't labeled as Noble and Cooley, they probably made these for all the other brands um, as well. So it's really a neat company, again, with the history going back to the Civil War in America. And just uh, they've just continuously been making drums for so long. Um, and they're the stuff they make now that are, you know, professional drum sets are unbelievable. Check out the episode about Noble and Cooley of the podcast. I'm sure you'll like it if you're interested in this stuff. Um, they're great guys. Thanks to my friend Jerry Ryman for sending these great newspaper ads over. Uh, lots of fun to look at Noble and Cooley stuff uh, and just see the progression of the company. And uh, really, in your everyday newspaper as a kid, you're reading about Noble and Cooley, which now is pretty mind blowing uh, because of the amazing drums they make today. But um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and um, subscribe, like, uh, share these with your friends if they like Noble and Cooley or any of the other brands I've talked about um, in this news related show or on the main podcast. Um, so thanks for listening and I will see you next week. 